Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a um, favicon file for your website. Um, I have, I've just made one for my website here that I'm working on. You can see here I brought up the browser and there this little icon that's in the tab in the browser window, this little icon right here, that's a favicon. You'll also see it where the URL goes, where you fill in the ad address bar. You'll see the little icon. That is a favicon. You'll see one. Here's the one for Joomla right there. Okay, and so I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it first of all in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, what you want to do is figure out what you're going to do for your favicon. So what I decided is in this logo that I have for this website, I like this heartbeat symbol. And so what I want to do is isolate just this kind of line that does like a heartbeat and see if I can isolate that and make that the um, favicon. So one of the first things I want to do is kind of alter it to make it work better. So to alter it, I'm going to get the eyedropper tool and eyedropper into this purple. And then I'll get a paintbrush. And with the paintbrush, I'm going to paint out um, this word, because I don't want this word in the favicon. And right. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll crop it. I'm going to crop this file so that it just kind of isolates that that heartbeat. All right, let's see here. I'll drop this down just a little bit. Hit enter. And then I'm going to get my zoom tool and zoom in a little bit. Now, a favicon is a 16 pixel by 16 pixel file. And as you can see, this image right here is tall. Right, it's not square, and the favicon is like I said, going to be 16 by 16. So we're going to work towards that. But first, I want to clean this up. So I'm going to get that eyedropper tool again, eyedropper into this baby blue, my paintbrush, and paintbrush this baby blue to get rid of that color right there. Okay. All right. That's getting there. Whoops. All right, I'm having a memory dump issue here. Sorry about that. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to make this um, more square. But here's the problem. If I do it, if I say, um, let's see here, image size, and I say height, uh, resample image, turn off constrained proportions, and for instance change this to 93. Let's see how that looks. Click OK, and now it's square, and one of the things that happened is um, this uh, line has gotten a little bit condensed here, and it's going to need to be exaggerated. And I'll show you what I mean by that. In other words, now this thing is 93 by 93. I did an image image size and I turned off constrained proportions and I just put 93 up here to match the dimensions and it's fixed it. So now what you can do is you could just take it to 16 by 16. So I'll do image image size and I'll change this to 16 and change this one to 16 pixels. Of course this has to say pixels in here not percent. I'll click OK and then you have your favicon. Now I'm zoomed in to 200 percent right here so I need to zoom out. So I'll get my zoom tool, hold down the Alt key, and zoom out to 100%. And there's the favicon. It's tiny, right? 16 pixels by 16 pixels. But I can't see that little heartbeat line. So what I'm going to do is zoom. I'm going to edit, step backwards, and I'm going to exaggerate the heartbeat so it's more visible when we shrink it down to 16 by 16. So what that means is I will get my eyedropper, eyedropper in this purple. I'll get my paintbrush, and I've got a, the right size for my paintbrush here. So you have to get the right size, right? I have right now 13 pixel size, and this is my hardness is set. Oh, it's pretty hard right over here, 0%. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint, hold down the shift key, and paint across. Now, oops. I don't like that. It's not hard. It's very soft. 
So I'm going to undo that, edit undo, control Z, and instead of a paintbrush, I'll get a pencil. And it looks like it's a six pixel pencil. And I'll just paint, hold down the shift key to make a straight line. And I'll paint a straight line across. And then over here, I'll paint, hold down the shift key, paint across and get a straight line. All right. And what I want to do is I want to paint and um, enhance this line. But if I try to freehand it, I'm not going to do such a good job, right? That's OK, but it looks all tweaky. So um, what I'm going to do instead is I'll get my um, polygonal lasso tool, and I'll just lasso this to get kind of a straight selection. And then what I can do is stroke it, edit, stroke, make it two pixels, right? And click OK and then it's a little bit better. I can stroke it one more time, edit, stroke, two pixels, click OK, and that's much better. Now I deselect, control D with your keyboard, and get that pencil tool in here and fill in the middle part. Okay, and that's better. Now I could probably just paint this piece here. No problem. I could probably just paint this piece here. No problem. And now all I have to do is um, do this side. So polygonal lasso tool. Click. Click. OK, try that again. Click. 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 And click. And then edit. Stroke. Two pixels. No problem. Deselect. Fill in the parts that are um, not showing up. Also, I want to paint this A, turn this into an A right across the top. So I'll start painting, hold down the Shift key, and paint across. And now I've got this A here. If I have any problems in it, I can um, fix it up. Eyedropper tool to the baby blue and fix that and that and now I'm ready to convert it to a 16 by 16 pixel I uh, favicon so image image size 16 by 16 click OK and now it's the right size and if I zoom out to 100 percent I can see the A and I can see the heartbeat so now it's much more visible because I exaggerated the the file before I shrunk it down so now all I have to do is save it correctly. So File, Save As, and this is important. What I want to do is, is I want to save this as a bitmap file. I'm going to save this as a BMP. I'm going to save it as a bitmap. And, but instead of calling it favicon.bmp, I'm going to name it favicon.ico. All right, favicon.ico, and hit Save, and click OK. And I take the default, and now I have my favicon file. Um, I have it in this uh, folder over here. I'll show it to you. All right, and there it is, favicon.ico. Now, where do you want to put this file? For this file to work, all you need to do is put it into your um, Apache uh, web server, or you know, into your template, basically, in your Joomla file. So this is my um, web server. I go to my Joomla website. I'm going to go into the templates folder. I'll go into the template. And this is where you want to copy your file so that it works and shows up in the browser. So right into your um, template folder in your Joomla site. So once again, this is the Joomla folder. You're going to go into templates and place it inside the template that you want, and it will be visible.